Welcome back, much appreciation for staying with Russia Prime News. My name is Rida Kering Tibet. Now, let me usher in our education segment. We're looking forward to take St. Joseph's to higher heights because right now we, the girls know that we are a brand to be watched. With the support from the Global Partnership for Education, the government of Kenya has made strides in ensuring that all girls, including those living in the poorest and most remote areas of the country, have an access to quality education. Um, my name is Rosbella Oruaru, Chief Principal St. Joseph's Girls High School Kitale. I uh, joined this school, St. Joseph's Girls, in 2019. I'm doing my fourth year here. And uh, we are proud of this school because we've seen progress uh, since then in the growth of students. I came in when we had a population of 1,400. And now we are at the population of 2,158. Um, Generally, our girls are focused in terms of discipline, in terms of academics. As they come in, we let them set their target. And as a staff, we are here to assist them to achieve their target, to achieve that whole person as power mission, so that when they leave school, they're able to survive out there. In an effort to promote sustainability and ensure the long-term impact on gender equity in education, the government of Kenya has integrated several of the successful school improvement plans activities within the national budget. Education is not just about books. Education is about how, edu uh, how it has impacted on you as a person. And so we try to impart that knowledge in the girls with the perception that other than the A, the character is equally important. So we tell them that you can go out here with an A but without character, then that A may not really reflect that you've been to school. So we keep telling them, I keep telling them that uh, academics go hand in hand with discipline. Without discipline, you may not achieve much. St. Joseph's Kitale High School girls located about seven kilometers from Kitale town along Kitale Webuye Highway in Kiminini sub-county in Transoya County is among the beneficiary schools of the initiative. The county government of Franzoya and Kimini sub-county leadership has invested much in the facility in construction of modern learning facilities that has given the school a new face. Our classes are quite congested because of that population, especially in Form, uh, form 1, 2, 3. Uh, we're looking forward to putting up more infrastructure. Uh, we are appealing to the ministry to assist us in terms of uh, infrastructure funds to be able to expand our classes. Uh, for the four years we've been here, we've been able to put up two big dormitories. We put up eight classrooms. We've been able to put up um, cabros because it was very muddy and now the girls are very happy. Their shoes are always clean. Uh, we, we were able to start up a piggery. We are having dairy animals, around 18 of them. Uh, we have a poultry farm. Uh, we have 14 acres that we are doing maize right now. We just harvested the other day with the help of our girls uh, because we also want them to know what happens on the farm. Uh, and it was an exciting day on uh, Huduma Day when they were harvesting because from some of those from once, almost three quarters, have never been to the farm and they were so excited to harvest. In the national and regional examinations, St. Joseph's Girls High School has always posted impressive results with the hope of this year's national examinations being to squash the previous mean grade. In school, we also emphasize that they do well academically. Uh, in 2020, we were able to take 370 girls to the university with a mean score of 9.8. Last year we went down, uh, we had a mean score of 7.4. Uh, 
and uh, we took 274 girls to the university. So we are proud of their performance. We are hopeful that this year the girls are also going to improve. Uh, their set target is at 9.7. Uh, so we just um, coming to the end of this year. The teachers are busy polishing and filling in the gaps where the girls may feel that uh, they are not yet ready. The school has a vibrant, talented students in football, music, athletics, drama, handball, table tennis, among other competitive sporting activities. We involve our students in co-curricular activities. And uh, this year, we were able to have uh, three teams going to the nationals. We had handball, which were, uh, took position three. They took bronze at uh, the Fayasa Games. We had basketball going up to the nationals. Uh, they finished fifth. And uh, swimming also, we had a team. And despite the fact that we don't have a swimming pool, we had a team. Uh, four, uh, four of our girls represented us at the nationals and uh, generally we have seen an improvement in uh, our core curricular activities. The support and collaboration from the school board of management, teachers, parents and students has contributed to the great achievement of St. Joseph's Girls High School goals in both academics, infrastructural and development departments. I thank my colleague teachers starting with my deputies who have their hands on to ensure the girls are doing the right thing both academically and in discipline the entire teaching staff for their commitment to work uh, i thank also our essential staff who are always available to provide uh, different kinds of service to the girls and uh, our board of management led by dr robert uh, masinte for their wonderful work they're always available to assist whenever called upon mm -hmm. st joseph's girls is sponsored by the catholic church and we're getting a lot of support from the catholic church led by our bishop anthony crowley uh, our school chaplain father paul sunguti we have various programs in school that are spiritual we have retreats timely uh, he's always available for consultation for Masomo News Live, Maisha Television, I'm Rida Kering Chebet. Message to Form 4s, we are looking forward to a wonderful result of 9.7. And I want to tell them, no pain, no gain, nothing comes easy in life.